morning from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Today is day one of five days of fishing with high tides fishing charters. This is actually Victor and I's second time coming here to fish with Captain Jamie and we are very grateful and blessed to be back here fishing. We're super excited. Last year we got on some amazing fish. Today's plan is to try to fish inshore, try to catch some rooster fish. So wish us luck. Let's get to fishing. All right, so we bought some goggle eyes this morning and we're gonna start out by slow trolling. So hook them right in the nose, just like that. So we're slow trolling three rods. We have one out real far, one in the middle, and then this will be the short one. As we're slow trolling these gogs, we're seeing these giant schools of Jack Crevel come up on the surface and they're just doing circles. It's really neat. Victor and I are up front throwing poppers and stick baits, hoping that we'll get one on artificial, but they seem to be a little afraid right now when we're casting into them, the school goes down. And then we're just waiting for them to come back up and we're casting. They're following the baits in, but they're just not eating them yet, but it's really cool to see them follow your bait in. See them? Oh my gosh, they're right here. They followed it all the way in. All right, well, we just had our first bite on the live bait, on the live goggle eye. We've been throwing, casting up front as well as keeping these baits back here. And we finally had a fish eat one of the gogs. This fish is just coming in, it's not very big, but it'll be my first fish of the trip. We're about to figure out what this is. I'm seeing color. I can't tell just yet. I think actually it might be a Jack Crevel. before then this is a new species for me a sierra mackerel this is gonna be ceviche possibly tonight for dinner or one day this week all right so one thing that we do on this boat that you're allowed to do here is clean your fish as soon as you catch them and you already know that we had to bring jamie some fresh dexter knives so we got a nice six inch dexter to flay up this mackerel right now if you had some soy sauce with you you could uh eat some sashimi right here on the boat right now as fresh as it gets I don't think I've ever flayed a fish before that hasn't been sitting on ice for a while so this is definitely different yeah it looks good not bad for a moving boat and not iced fish huh move that out of the way this baby right back in. See ya. Most mackerel species they have very thin skin. So when you're skinning you gotta try to leave a little bit of meat above that skin so that you don't have a bunch of skin left on your fillet. I think I didn't leave any skin. Let's see. Oh a little bit but not too bad. Put this baby in a bag, bring it home to the hacienda and we're having ceviche for dinner. Definitely 
changed. We went from not being able to get these jacks to eat anything to them eating everything. Victor just caught one on the stick bait. We just caught three. This is like the third one on the live bait. Things are definitely picking up. It's the full moon currently, and so everything kind of seemed a little bit sluggish in the morning. And now in the afternoon, Jamie said that things are gonna start to pick up and we're seeing that now. There's birds working everywhere. There's jacks everywhere. We've seen some bonita on the surface. So things are starting to happen. Getting our butts kicked by some Jack Cravels now. There he is. This way to grab him, right there by the tail. Just gonna remove the circle hook right here on the side of the boat. Rookie's second or third jack, right? Second. Second jack. See ya. Hey, Sean, we got, oh, look at that. Oh, look, every rod. Oh, and the rooster, 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 rooster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. We need some arms. I have arms. <laughs> Can you tell what Jamie's favorite fish is? Oh, we love that one. We still have two little rooster oh, for a big Oh, a little bird. rooster, yep. Yeah. That's cool. Come here, baby rooster. So cute. Little Pretty. rooster. Oh. Little rooster. Oh my gosh, there's followers. There's more. We got our target species, some rooster fish. Victor just got one in the boat. I'm fighting one. It's nice and small and cute, but it's spunky. Thing. There we go, baby. Yay! Woohoo! First rooster fish of the trip. There you go. You ready to hold them? Beautiful. Check that thing out. This was my number one bucket list fish, and Jamie got me on them two years ago. But this is one of my favorite fish to catch. They're so beautiful. They fight great. Just look at those tracers. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. These guys, we don't really like to keep out of the water for too long, so let's get them back in. See ya. Wow. Just awesome. We had another one on, but we lost that one, so seems like we're in the area with some rooster fish. That's what we're here for. Get in there. Rooster, rooster, all over. Look at that. Look at that. Hell yeah. It's pretty loose or it's a big fish? Um, it, 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 is a big, it is a big fish. So basically what we've been doing all day is just trolling up and down the coast basically. And in a lot of areas there's a lot of rocks, like just off the beach. And we've been casting towards the rocks and just continuously just slow trolling these goggle eyes. The landscape is just beautiful. If you want to come fishing here, High tides will put you on the fish. We're catching fish one after another. Rooster fish, as many jacks as you could want, dream of. I think that's what I'm gonna have is a big Jack Cravel. But I'll have all of High Tide's information linked down in the video description. You guys can come here, come out on a dream vacation to Mexico, stay in an all-inclusive lodge, and then get on some amazing fish. And we're just starting. It's only day one of five, and we've already had an amazing time. This is why you gotta go to the gym, people, so you can catch big fish. It's a jack, it's a big one, though. Here he comes. He's a big boy. Oh, he's a... Big boy, all right, bro. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he, kicked, right here. he kicked my butt a little bit. Ooh, baby! There we go. There's my big old Jack Cravel. He's grunting as well. He put up a good fight. These guys are super fun to catch. Big rooster. Look at that. How oh, crazy. Victor keeps telling you I love them. That is why. Big one. Big 
one? Big, big. big Peel one. it. Whoa. Hell yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that makes me remember last time you were here. Big one and on the spinning again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big rooster fish on. Jamie saw it come up and eat this gog. And it, it has some good size to it. It's taken a lot of line and this thing is big. Now that I just caught that big Jack Crevel, I can definitely tell the difference between that Jack Crevel and this rooster fish. Rooster fish are a lot more erratic and do different things than a Jack Crevel does. This feels like deja vu. Jamie said it reminds him of the last time I was here and I caught a giant like 60 pound rooster fish or something crazy like that. And I told Jamie I was gonna get it mounted, but I didn't. <laughs> Look at this thing! Oh, wow. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Got a nice one. He's not done yet. Victor just caught a big one. I think probably a little bigger than this, but this is still a beautiful big fish. We are in the rooster fish, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at he's barely hooked in the little lip. rushing past her gills before we let her go. But she's definitely gonna swim off well. She's sucking onto my thumb and she's kicking that back tail so she's ready to go. Thank you for a beautiful fight. Here we go. See ya. Nice. Woohoo! Swam away good. Well, Victor caught a big rooster fish just before me. Then I caught another one. We are having an incredible day out here and it's only day one like I already said, but those rooster fish are just such beautiful, beautiful creatures. One of my absolute favorite fish to catch. Just those tracers are just so gorgeous. Just feel very blessed to be here right now in this moment. Yeah, and so powerful. I tried grabbing that fish four times before it let me take them into the boat. They are so incredibly strong. Yeah, they're very strong fish, but just a great experience already. So I can't wait to see what else this trip has to hold. Great first day in Mexico. After a great first day of fishing, we headed back to the Hacienda Maria Elena. We enjoyed some margaritas as the sun went down and had a delicious dinner. We rested up for another day of fishing offshore. Victor filmed a video of what we caught the next two days, so make sure to check out his channel to see that video. So now we're jumping all the way to day four, but don't worry, stay till the end of the video to see what Chef Karen whips up with my Sierra mackerel. Good morning from 50 miles offshore of Puerto Vallarta. We are at a place called El Banco and we have the opportunity today to catch a multitude of different species from marlin, mahi, cubera snapper, grouper species we've never even seen before as well as a lot more. So what I'm starting with today is doing a little jigging on bottom. We're in about 100 feet of water and I'm dropping a 150 gram jig. Victor's up front doing some popping. He really wants to get a Kubera snapper on a popper here. And then we're also just slowly drifting with live baits out the back. So wish us luck. Let's see what we can catch. Oh, I just hooked up right under the boat. Something small. No, on the way up, I was just railing very close. Do we want a little bonita? Yes, that would be amazing. Whoa! What? what the? That was so close no, up to the surface, too. Really? All right, Brookie got herself a grouper. Is this, um, a species that we don't know what it is? Yeah. 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a new species for me. And Jamie actually doesn't even know what kind of species of grouper this is. So if you guys know, comment down below. Um, I've been jigging and this was actually just on the retrieve up to the surface. I was gonna drop again. And on the way up it ate it. But very cool. I've never caught a grouper like this before or seen one. Jamie has shown us a few pictures of them, but he said that no one really knows exactly what it's called. So you guys have to comment down below and let us know. Very cool though. Um, do I let this go? No. Keep it? Whatever you want to do. Keep it. Well, we're going to keep this fish and have him for dinner. Whatever he is. <laughs> Bottom. No, I got the I got the El Banco. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I got another fish. Jigging on the way up again. I kind of think it's gonna be the same thing again. Still small, not too big. You're kidding, it's the same thing. Another one! What the heck? Another oh, of the mystery grouper. Huh? Same size too. Jamie, is this the size you usually catch? Uh, here in El Banco, this would be the average size. We catch a lot of smaller ones, and we catch a, a few, few big ones also. What is big? Big would be 20 pounds, 30 pounds. He's basically the twin of the last one that I caught. The exact same size. They're very cold. This water must be really cold. So cool. Again, on the way up, normally you think about catching groupers on bottom, but he was about halfway down. We're keeping this guy as well. Good morning, we just picked up some bait and we are about to head out the marina. Today we are on a different boat of high tides fishing with Gabriel and Jamie. We are continuing on our marlin mission. That was the main thing for this trip. We really wanted to get on some marlin. So hopefully that happens today. Fingers crossed, we're about to head offshore. Wish us luck, I will see you out there. spread out. We're trolling with some dead goggle eyes today. And just like back at home, the weatherman lied like usual and it was supposed to be calm today. And it's kind of rough out here, but we're gonna make it work and hopefully we get some marlin in our spread today. Hey guys, well we've been trolling for about an hour and check out what Victor caught. Look at that beast. Monster, like I'll show it off to the camera, look at this. Monster Mexican mahi mahi right there. This fish changed colors on us so many times. He was blue, he was yellow, he was green. Gorgeous. Just picture this thing rushing through the water, meeting one of our baits right there. He jumped so many times too. Just such a pretty fish. So as we're out here trolling for these marlin, you also have the opportunity to catch these beautiful mahi-mahis out here as well. We caught one the other day, and then we caught this one. This one was a little bit bigger, but this is a beautiful big mahi. You know what marlin fishing is like? This is it right here. Staring at rod tips and staring at your baits. You're all calm, and then all of a sudden, Mr. Marlin comes by. Gets well, your heart racing. The cool thing is we've had one bite so far that we think was a marlin. We saw a giant splash on one of the baits, but we couldn't exactly tell what kind of species it was. But when they brought the bait in, they thought it was a marlin. And then we saw Victor's mahi eat the bait as well. So if you sit here and watch, you'll probably see it happen. That's what's the cool thing about trolling these baits up on the surface is it's a very visual thing. Yeah, you can sit and stare forward and probably hear the real scream when you have a fish on, but it's really neat to be able to see it happen as well. 
So as we're trolling along, every single time we see something floating, we come up close to it, and we've actually seen a lot of sea turtles just floating on the surface with birds on them. So that's pretty interesting. I guess they, I don't know if they're napping on the surface or something, but they sit there long enough for a bird to find them and find a place to rest. But we finally found some actual trash floating and Victor casted the stick bait at it and caught a big old triple tail. So now we're gonna go back around towards it. I'm gonna see if I can catch one because there were some more there. I don't know if they'll be as big as the one Victor caught, but pretty cool. Oh, look at all of them chasing it. Chasing it. But they're all small, you see that? Yep. Good job. Oh. Yeah! Got him! <laughs> it's a good size one. There was another bigger one there. Look at him jump! Oh my gosh! So cool. Hey, Vic, this one might be as big as yours. <laughs> there was another big one under there. There's a bunch of little ones following it too. So cool. Look at that. Look at that. Another jumbo. That's the biggest triple tail I've ever caught. Look how pretty. Flip no, no, don't risk it. Mine came out so easy. Let's gaff it in the belly again. Oh, I can see that. Oh no, he looks hooked. Gaff? He no. Looks don't to don't me. risk it. Don't risk it, bro. You can just pull him in. Just grab him. I swear okay, this okay, one's good. I okay, can tell. okay. Heck yeah! Look at that thing. I didn't think there was gonna be a bigger one under there because at first only small ones followed the one that Victor caught. But this is a big boy. Big old triple tail on the stick bait. So neat. Let's get those hooks out. It's always a little dangerous when you got two trouble hooks to worry about. Barely in there. Oh yeah, baby, look at that thing. My biggest triple tail ever here in Mexico. Beautiful. Usually when they're this big, they're dark colored like this, but when they're small, you see them a lot. Um, all lit up orange and yellow, but normally the big ones are really dark like this But they're such a cool fish. They're so armored plated Victor had a hard time gaffing it And I was like just pull it into the boat I could tell that it was hooked well because these things have very very tough skin All right, well, we are winding down our day today was our last day of fishing Victor is cleaning the fish up before we head in he already filleted the mahi as well as one of the triple tail We got one last triple tail to fillet Let's do it. How do you like playing out here, Vic? Um, I mean, you know, Brick's dad has a, a nice shaded, stable fillet table, but I think if you can fillet out here like these guys do, running 20 miles per hour, it'll make you really good at filleting fish. It is nice though, having the mountains in the background and um, like the Fresh ocean air. Fresh salt water to rinse your fish off with. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the other day when you guys saw me fillet that mackerel, it was kind of choppy and looking down, spending my time doing something, I, it made me feel a little bit seasick and I never get seasick, but filleting that fish the other day made me feel sick afterwards. I had to like sit down and relax for a little bit. So Victor was like, do you wanna fillet your triple tail? And I was like, I think that you're doing a pretty good job. I don't wanna feel the way I did the other day. It's something about like, looking down while you're rocking, that just like didn't make me feel so good. He's doing a great job. Thank you, Bricky. Look at that. Yeah, they have a giant rib cage. So I'm not sure what we're having for dinner tonight, whether it's gonna be this fresh mahi or the triple tail or the grouper from the other day. So there's a lot of options, but can't beat fresh fish. And I think we're probably gonna end up bringing some home as well. Bam. There you go, Brookie. Say, say goodbye to your triple tail. Goodbye, your triple tail. Your last fish in Mexico. But it won't be your last because we're coming back in October, aren't we? That's right. Cervezas for Senorita. Senorita Brook Priest. This was an incredible trip. I'm so glad that we got to come back here and we're actually coming back again in October. So super stoked. Hopefully we finally get on our marlin when we come back in October. We're gonna get revenge on the marlin. <laughs> gracias. No, gracias. Thank you, gracias. my friend. Yes, thank, thank you. you for taking us.
Everybody happy, right? Yes, sir. Very happy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, my friend. You as well. Thank you. Salud. Salud. Welcome to the beautiful Hacienda Maria Elena. This is where we are staying at this all-inclusive lodge. It's absolutely beautiful. And the cool thing about staying here is you can go fishing with Jamie, then come back here, and the chef can cook your very fresh fish that you caught that day. So we're gonna be having mackerel ceviche as an appetizer tonight. And today we also went fishing and Victor caught a beautiful mahi. So we're going to have that for dinner as well. So if you guys are looking for a place to stay in Mexico, make sure you check this out. I'll have it linked in the description so you can fish all day with Jamie, come back in here and relax at the all-inclusive Hacienda Maria Elena. Now let's get to cooking. But before we head to the kitchen, it's time for a margarita. Gracias, Antonio. Gracias. Cheers. Cheers. That hits the spot. Very good. Very good. Muy bien. Fishing all day in the sun. Nice oh, ice yeah. cold margarita. As soon as you get back, hits the spot. Okay, so tonight we have Chef Karen in the kitchen. And like I said, we're having ceviche as an appetizer. So this is the mackerel that I caught. And then this is the mahi that Victor caught today. So we got tomatoes, red onion, and cilantro. Vamos a hacer ceviche mexicano. Ceviche, Mexican ceviche. Classic, clásico. Clásico. Picante. Um, jalapeño. Jalapeño. Mucho poquito. Uh, mm, poquito. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I am a baby when it comes to spice, so if I have the option, poquito. <laughs> Y lleva limones. So ceviche is not cooked with heat, but it is cooked with the citric acid of limes or lemons. So tonight she's just using limes and she just put in some salt and pepper. Un secreto? Olive oil? Aceite de ajo. Garlic. Oh yeah, garlic oil. Garlic oil? Yeah. I bet that's what was what delicious. was in last night's dinner, huh? Mm -hmm. I can smell it. Mm. It's nice to see no matter where you go. Like we've had ceviche all over and different people make it, but it all kind of comes down to the classic red onion, tomato, cilantro. Some people put basil in theirs. And I've never seen that with like the little hint of garlic oil. It gives it a kind of little richness. Mm -hmm. And she's also, Brooke, you notice it's not like drowning in lime juice like it normally would be. Y hay que dejarlo reposar con el limón para que se cosa. Con solo limón. No more? No más. No so, más. Es mucho limón para cocerse el pescado. Ok. No hay que coser el agua, nada. Solamente el limón. Como el agua chile. So different people like ceviche different ways. Back home, we usually let it cook basically like all the way through to where like your lobster, your fish is completely white. It almost looks cooked. But I think the way they eat it here is slightly raw in the middle. So you get kind of more of a bite to it. And also something we never do is also put avocado in it. But who doesn't love a good avocado, huh? I think you don't need to put the serrano. She says it's going to be spicy. From the jalapeno? The serrano. Oh. Oh, it was a serrano. No, uh -huh. this is tomato, isn't it? No, no but this. this. That I thought was jalapeno. Okay. It's not jalapeno. No. It's not a jalapeno, it's serrano pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I just like trying different hot sauces everywhere I go. I like a little salt or heat in my ceviche. I don't like spice, but Vic loves spice. So every time this he cooks good. for me, he always tries to downplay it slightly. I try to get Brooke to be a spicy girl. Little by little by little. Raise that heat tolerance. Gracias, Karen. Gracias. Thank you. It's beautiful. Let's go outside and try it. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Instagram. <laughs>
Let's go. Nice big bite. Mm -hmm. You know what I like about it? That I want to do more of? It's not cooked all the way through. She left it raw most of the way, so you get a nice texture, nice bite. See our mackerel's got a really good oil content, good texture to it. Finely um, diced, you get a little heat from the serrano that she put in there, and then that flavor of like that garlic olive oil really shines through. It's killer. Well, that was the first time I've ever caught a Sierra mackerel. So the first time I've ever tried one before, and it's very delicious. Like Victor was saying, it's not cooked all the way through. If you leave ceviche sit in a lot of lime juice for a long time, the longer it will cook. So like she just made this and we're just eating it and it's delicious. It's fire. And then this stuff right here, I never had this uh, hot sauce, salsa puchol. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that, but it's good. We've been having a lot of delicious meals here. Everything that they've made has been absolutely delicious. I'm very excited to try the mahi tonight. If you're interested in fishing with Jamie and High Tides Fishing Charters or coming to this beautiful hacienda, I'll have everything linked down in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Swim away, perfect. That's what we love to see. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> <Bam>! <laughs> 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 <laughs>